here it is guys this is the big moment the pictures have just dropped i'm not gonna lie i couldn't wait i took a little sneak peek but i don't want to influence anybody's opinions or decisions here what i think we should do is pull them up right here live on air look at them come to our own conclusions what do you guys say i love this love idea it. have love either of you it. seen them yet yeah well you've yeah, seen them of course okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> look that's fine that's okay everybody's excited it's hard to wait it's like it's like Christmas morning. You're not gonna like be, if if mom's right. like, hey, you can open one present. You're not gonna be like, no, after breakfast, mom. You know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like come yeah, on. Yeah. It's like it's like I came downstairs. I unwrapped a few things, but I haven't like taken anything out of the box or played. Right. With that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's do this. Let's get right into it. Wt Willie, pull up the first alleged thylacine, please. Ooh. What okay. do we see what first? Do you see? Yeah. All right. I'll do it. I'll I'll take this one. Um, I see the rump, the bum, the backside of a relatively thick animal. Now, I don't recall whether or not Neil said this was the conclusive striped baby thylacine. Actually, I do. Sorry, this is not that one. This was okay. the one that he considered to be one of the parents' thylacine. And he said, you can clearly see the striping. Remember when we did the first breakdown, I was pointing out how, you know, when you're That's under brush dappling that's i will tell you as a someone who's directed a lot and spends a lot of time looking at lighting that is dapple that is not stripe yeah. on the animal that's shadowing sunlight coming through the brush above it that is not stripes what do you think of the what do you think of the hind shape Ritep? i know this isn't necessarily your your field but what do you think of the shape big thick well, skinny what do you think <laughs> Well, I mean, honestly, it isn't my thing, but I've seen plenty of pictures of thylacine. You guys have talked about it with me for 47 weeks. <laughs> this, I mean, it, it, it's, no, it's like, it's rotund. Yeah. A thylacine is like a lean cat. Cats don't have big rumps like this. Yeah, this that's is a like thick a, boy. That is yeah. a thick boy. Yeah, that I mean, right now, if you said pick between a thylacine and as Nick Mooney said, a patty melon, I would, it's not even close, right? Right. Pet. No, no question. But baby birds, there are more photos. All so right. while this, right. I think we can all agree this is nonsense. Yes. No, no thylacine in the in the this image. This is not a thylacine, not in my opinion. Okay. Let's continue. Will. Okay. A little further yeah. away. Yeah, a little further away. Slightly more interesting. Now, what Very do you think? Very marsupially. Yeah. I mean, th to me, even more so, uh, doesn't look like it. it. You can see it's more, it's even more round. The body looks to be a, a little bit fat as well, as opposed to like a lean cat. So even past the rear, as it, it just looks wider than what a thylacine would look like. And is this supposed to be the baby one? Because it's very... Nope, baby's I mean, still upcoming. This is a different one. This is another <laughs> parental one in theory. Um, now, now, Patrick, take a look at that tail. It does mm -hmm. have, to play devil's advocate here for a second, it does have a thick-based, strong, rigid tail, which, you know, a cat doesn't have that. You know, you see a little little twirly cat tail. Um, mm -hmm. What do you guys think? I mean, I'll give you my input in a minute and what, what kills it or doesn't kill it for me in a second. I mean, what for me, the tail, it's a little... A padded melon's tail is definitely, I think, a bit longer right than that would be you would think but what i'm seeing so if you look like really right in the center of the photo what appears to be the right leg of the animal that's sort of a lighter color that's coming down to the ground mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that to me looks like very much like a um like a patamelon or kangaroo almost yeah well it's a macropod for sure right it's that that group of animals and i'm with you there if you zoom in on the leg now, keep in mind, the thylacine did have those marsupial-like legs. They had a big foot and that weird kind of kangaroo back leg. But when I look at this, I, I just, I see a patty melon. I don't see, the shape's wrong. It's, it's like what Ritep said. Like, I don't think you have to be a thylacine expert, you know, or even a biologist to look at this and go, it's too fat and it's hopping on its two back legs, you know? And right. that's, what, that's what you're seeing here. And, um... That's okay. not what thylacine did, you know? So I, I just, you know, at this point, I can tell you while watching the video, can't really remember the exact order, but at this point I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I was told there was two, there was a crystal clear definitive piece of evidence. And so far I've got two very ambiguous photos to look at, yes. right? Mm -hmm. But yeah. keep in mind in Neil's initial video, he did say 
there's a couple ambiguous photos, but there's one that's like 100%. Nothing right. to argue about. The like, baby. this is it. So yep. we haven't yeah. got there yet. But I believe the next photo is supposed to be that photo. Okay. Let's see the next one here. This is the one. This, this is, is the, the one. definitive one, huh? This is the definitive one. Now, I'll tell you my initial reaction. My initial reaction was, fuck you, Neil. Because I was so excited. You told me I was getting a definitive thylacine, and this is ambiguous. I'm not, I'm not ruling it out yet. I want to look at it more closely. But I was expecting a headshot, like something a mo- you'd see at a modeling agency of a damn thylacine based <laughs> right. on the way he sold yeah. it, you know? Like, yeah. I was like, it's going to be crystal clear. I'm going to see its face. I'm going to see its stripes. It, you know, it's probably drinking a margarita. Like, it's going to be perfect. <laughs> um, yeah. And, yeah. And that is not no. what this is. So, well... No. Patrick, you you take the reins on this one. What do you think looking at this photo? All right. So, okay. We see the head and the ears, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. How does that match up with the Patamelon's ears? I, I got to look at the Patamelon head here. Eh, pretty they damn have, close. Yeah. It does. But, but if you look at a thylacine's ears, too, there's not a huge amount of difference, really. So, okay. If I look at this saying if I wanted to take a thylacine and make a baby thylacine stuffed animal, right? And then I look right above that sort of horizontal, or sorry, the diagonal blade of grass. Yeah. If I want to see what looks like a snout or a nose there, I can see like almost the stuffed animal version of a, of a little tiny baby thylacine. Like a cud- like an ultra cuddly baby thylacine. Like a little too yeah. chubby, like a little bit too, like a pup, you know, like, like a real it, pup. I wish I could draw on the screen, but if you, if you envision where the two blades of grass split like this, right? Yeah, just a little you go triangle. Up. Yeah, and you see that little dark spot. Mm-hmm. And then up diagonally from that, you see the yellow of the eye, mm-hmm. right? I could see that as a thylacine. A little, okay. a little puppy, a little thylacine pup. Hey, you you and Neil both, and that's fine. And I'll, I'll give you my input in a second. So I Look, I'm not saying you're an idiot for saying that, by the way. I can see why sure. it's, you know, I can see why someone looks at this and goes, I can see a thylacine. I really can't. Rutep, mm. what do you see? Well, I mean, you know, obviously having no expertise in this. That's okay. But, I mean, to me, it looks, it does look cat-ish. I mean, but it, it looks like a kitten and there's, they're claiming that this is a baby thylacine, right? But I mean, I, I don't see enough evidence that, and I also don't know enough about like what could be there. And I want to ask you, uh, Forrest, what else sure. this could be? Because it looks like a kitten to me. And like, <laughs> you know, so I don't know. Now, what if I tell you this? Because Ritep, on first glance, I think I, if you didn't tell me where this was in the world and you just showed me this picture, I think I'd say, yeah, it's probably a kitten, right? Right. Like, like gut knee-jerk reaction, it's probably a, a feline. Like, a, whether it's a wild one or a domestic one, I don't know, but it looks like a cat. Mm-hmm. Now, what if I tell you this? In the video, Neil states he sent this to eight experts. Nick Mooney was one of them. Yep. Nick Mooney declared, he didn't specify which photo, but he declared it was Patty Mellon. The other seven were either feline or canine experts. They were from vet places, dog shows, cat clinics. I don't really know. I, I didn't follow that, that closely who they all were. But sure. every single one of them, of the remaining seven, said that is neither a dog nor a cat. Based okay. on the foot, based on the tail, based on the ears. I'll give you this. He was leading the witness a little bit. You know, it was oh, like, right. if, I, he if was. I go to you, if I go, hey, Ritep, that's, that's not a cat, right? And you're like, yeah. it's not a cat. <laughs> you know, he was leading the witness a little bit. But that being said, he still pointed out that seven different feline and canine experts said it wasn't a cat or a dog. So now what do you think, Ritep? Not that you're an expert, but what do you think? Well, I mean, I think it's fake news, mate. Just like anybody gets an, uh, an expert to say whatever they want who's on their side. I don't know anything about these experts. I mean, it, it doesn't influence my opinion one way or another unless I actually looked into who these people are. Maybe he's close friends with the vet down the road and they have beers together. Like, I, I don't know. To me, like, you know, if it's valid and these experts, quote unquote, are actually saying this and these are vetted people who, for example, somebody like you or Nick Mooney, would trust to give this type of assessment, perhaps uh, it would sway me. But from from the other pictures and then this, 
And the, uh, the amount of excitement that uh, Neil Waters was putting forth, it, it actually, the whole thing kind of pisses me off and irritates me because <laughs> nobody in their right mind, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I just, I don't understand how you get this excited about something that is so still gray area and not conclusive, you know? So, what, do you, what do you think of the striping, both of you guys? Because he's claiming this is clearly a pup, clearly has stripes. What are you seeing? Grassy shadows, man. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's Dapple. Uh, I think that that's classic Dapple, unfortunately. And then I don't want to steal your thunder here for us, but just as Bratep no. was talking, I just, you know, there, there are some photos of, of baby thylacine. In fact, mm-hmm. Will, if you just Google image baby thylacine, there's a family that comes up. The, 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 from the nose to the eye, the, the baby thylacine has a really pronounced long snout. Yeah. Mm. And this thing is cuter. You know what I mean? It's got its, its nose is smushed into its face more. Mm-hmm. And then if you Google baby patamelon, the distance from the nose to the eye is a lot smaller. It has more of that sort of smushed in face like what so we're kind of seeing So you're seeing, here. you're seeing the head of, oh, I, I might have misunderstood what you were saying earlier, Patrick, because what I'm seeing or what I think I'm seeing right where the grass crosses to the left mm-hmm. of that, I'm looking at what I thought was the ear, not the snout, the back of the head and the ear. Oh, That's what I, thought I, I was, was, was saying, at. I was saying that was the nose and then right. up. I'm, from I misunderstood. The, I thought you were like envisioning yeah. that. Well, it really goes to show that, you know, to Retep's point, billing this as a definitive thylacine is fucking nuts. Yeah. And, and at the end of the day, here, so I'll jump in with my input here for a sec. Yeah. At the end of the day, I could show you, and I'm not kidding, I'm not exaggerating, probably eight to 10,000 photos that I still have on my computer somewhere that look just like that photo. Not, not the mm-hmm. thylacine baby ones that Will just pulled up, the other one. And if you ask me, what is that? As a scientist, as a logical person, as an, as an outdoorsman, I would tell you, I don't know. And I think that <laughs> right. is the fair answer, you know? Like, I don't yeah. think it's okay to be like, man, it could be a thylacine. You know, we got a butt of something in Vietnam, remember? And we are like, wow, I wonder if that could be a sala. Remember that, Patrick? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I didn't sit there going, that's a sala. You know, I wasn't like, that's an Asian unicorn. I was just like, man, that is a, that is a butt that is suspiciously like a Sala. And, and here, you know, that's the same damn thing. Like, that is a butt that has the potential with a bit of imagination to be a thylacine. But mm-hmm. to jump up and down, cause all this excitement and go, I've got a thylacine. It's proof. It's clear. You're all going to see it next week or whatever. And then show that to me was a big letdown and a bit of a, and I'm sorry if, if, you know, the thylacine group sees this or Neil listens to this, but it's just, it sucks, man. Like yeah. <laughs> we're, you know, it's like, it's, it, it's the problem with crying wolf is people will stop listening. You know, if right. you always cry wolf, people are going to stop listening. So yeah. instead, when you get something like this, it's okay to be excited. And I understand people are excitable. Hell, you guys both know how excitable I am. But just take a beat and think about it before making a statement like this is clearly a thylacine. Like all I see, quite frankly, is another super ambiguous photo of an animal that nobody could properly identify. Sure. Yeah. So, so you think yep. at the end of the day, this, this, this hurts their cause, which is to – they basically want to – people to understand that these potentially – still exist and that they should be protected well and i I do want to comment on that and this is one thing that i'll say that maybe it's not publicly considered or you know maybe in a sense it's better that i don't even say it out loud but this is an honest show and i'll be honest about it neil is saying and the thylacine awareness group saying this is a thylacine right Mm -hmm. if he gets enough people to believe him they're going to ban the use of a certain chemical or logging substance. I didn't fully understand it, that they, they use frequently in Tasmania. And he mentioned it a number of times. He's like, if nothing else, we can ban the use of this chemical that is a poison, then that's worth it. And when sure. I heard that, I was like, oh, you know what? Neil, that's a thylacine. Dead 100 percent. You know what I mean? It's like if you're telling me that, you know, and where I grew up in Africa back in the day, it was DDT, which is this chemical that made bird eggshells weak. 
I could have made up some gibberish and that would have got DDT banned and saved all the fish eagles. You better believe I would have made up any gibberish in the world. You know what I mean? So yeah. I, I think, and again, maybe I shouldn't be pointing this out to the public, but I think good for Neil and the Thylacine Awareness Group for having an idea that might lead to some kind of environmental change. That's great. But I think it discredits them as an organization to come out publicly and say that this blurry image that nobody could truly identify is 100% definitive proof of a thylacine and just you hang on because I'm going to show it to you. And that, that is what happened here. Yeah. Absolutely. Hmm. And also as, as the layman, uh, you know, I've learned a lot about extinct animals, the thylacine from you guys uh, on this podcast, but if I'm not into thylacine and I don't know what it is, and then uh, I, I catch wind of this cause it's viral and I'm hyped up about it for a couple of days cause they're going to find this extinct animal or whatever. And then it's just this, like, I would definitely be like, fuck these guys. Fuck this. This is bullshit. Like, you know, I'd be boobies. pissed. I'd be pissed. So <laughs> like, be before we put the nail in the coffin and go, that was it. This is bullshit. What a waste of time. I will say this. <laughs> this was the picture that Neil and the group and everybody got most excited about. This was the mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Now, personally, there was, there was another photo, a black and white photo. And personally, I actually thought that was the closest one. So there's one okay. more pic. 